guys, it's Wonder with the Wonder of Nature. And I have a little surprise unboxing. So I actually went to my local Barnes and Noble and usually they don't have a really good selection of tarot cards and the ones that they have, those are the only ones that they always have. Like they restock on only those. But I was going there today because I like board games and they have an they had a master detective clue with like more suspects, more rooms, more weapons. Yes. So I went there to get that and I was like, oh, you know, I always swing by the New Age Pagan section and I saw this. And it is the Mystical Shaman Oracle by it's the deck and guidebook by Alberto Valdo, Colette Born, Baron Reed, and Marcella Lobos. And I apologize if I'm butchering names. But, and I saw this. I feel like I was meant to get this deck. Um, and why I say that is because, well, like I said before, number one, Barnes & Noble, near me, never has, like, a wide selection of decks. Um... And the past few, like, week-ish, um, I've been thinking about branching out. And I've been going through a very, like, ugh, like, very, like, I don't know where to put my foot next kind of feeling um, to do with my spirituality. And I've kind of been leaning towards, like, spirit guides and, like, finding my spirit guides or spirit work in not in the essence of just like using tarot to connect with spirit okay um and i just feel like this is this is very serendipitous that i would find because i have been wanting a a deck that is very like ancestor very like primal very ancient very you know very not tarot okay um, and this one it seems like it may fit that bill so let me just read you a little a little um, excerpt that they have about each of the creators um, so Alberto Valaldo PhD is a medical anthropologist who has studied the shamanic healing practices of the Amazon and Andes for more than 25 years. He is the founder of the Four Winds Society, an organization dedicated to the bridging of ancient, ancient shamanic traditions with modern medicine and psych psychology. Super cool. Colette Baron reed which we all know, she has a lot of decks out. Excuse me. Um, she, she writes beautiful guidebooks. Um, says so she is... An internationally respected spiritual intuitive, psychic medium, educator, and oracle expert. She is the founder of Oracle School, and her best-selling books and oracle cards are published worldwide in 27 languages. Then, Marcella Lobos has been initiated in the healing and spiritual tradition of the Amazon and the Andes. She is senior staff member at the Four Winds Society and co-founder with Alberto of Los... Quieto Caminos in South America. And again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering anything. But I'm super excited. So here's the front again. Look at those eyes. They just suck you in, right? Okay. So let's get my image. Okay, now do, is this like a, it's like a push out? Like, oh, yeah. Okay. So, like so. Ooh, and then the front, they have just taken away all the words. It's actually pretty thick. Look, ooh, I like that. Oh, and then look at the back. That's super pretty. Oh, I like that. And then it is a mag. Oh, look, there's two little sticks or wands right there. And it is a snap closure. So we're going to open it. This is what you see. And it says, before there was time, before there was language, there were the sacred symbols. Hmm. Okay, so here is the guidebook. Oh, and it's like, it's not like hardcover, but it's that, it's that um, middle in between, between hard 
hardcover and soft. Oh, I like that. Okay. So it does give um, a list of books by some of the creators, Alberto and Colette. Um, and then it has a message from the author's introduction, and then it goes into the cards. Let's see if they do have any spreads or anything like that. Um, the artist for the deck was Gina. I'm gonna butcher this right now. Gina Della Gra Gra Della Gra Taglia. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is a native New Yorker who now lives in Los Angeles with her husband, soulmate, and best friend, Daniel. She also has an affinity for animals as her adoptive four cats would attest to wholeheartedly. Aw. Wanted to see if... Okay, so I don't see... Oh, here are the spreads. So they do have a couple spreads. Um, how to work with the deck. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then... So it does have the little like thing that'll ooh and then it comes in again in its own like box wow that is they wanted to protect these cards and it's it's a a hard huh and this is published by Hay House it says wow <laughs> I was very surprised by that but the front so you don't have to keep it in this big snap closure and you could probably use this for something else but, but yeah so you have this little hard deck it is just like the the big main front that's the back on there so let's open this up oh and inside oh that's cute it just says the cards all right and again we have the little thing that'll help you get these out Ooh, it's quite a few cards still surprises me okay so take off Oop. that Ooh, I like the backing that's so pretty okay so let's go through these cards okay so I'm probably so there are 64 cards so I might not go through all of them, but let's be real. Maybe I will. I don't know. Okay, so the ancient ones. Ooh. So this does give me a very, um, if you've seen the good tarot, how it does have the number of the, um, like the major arcana, things like that in the corner. Median cross. The arrow, I like that. Let's see, beauty way. The beloved. Ooh, the blade, I like this one. It does have the phases of the moon on there has a sun. Ooh, I like that. The child. Okay. Ooh, the circle. I like that. Completion. Ooh, the corn. This kind of reminds me of children of the corn, but. Ooh, I like this one. The council. I like that. The coyote. Ooh, the crow. Ooh, I like this. 
Ooh, yeah. The curse. There's very much like a hand over that person's mouth. Hmm. I like that. The drum. Eagle. I like these images. They're very like, they're very, you can see what you need to see, but then there's, there's mixing and there's blurring and there's, you know, all the images are kind of like blending together. So, hmm. earth. The Earth Keeper. I like that one. Fire. Yep. Ooh, I like her. Flow. Oh, the Gatherer. The ghost dance. The giveaway. The heart of sky. The holy mountain. I really like that. And the cardstock is it's pretty good. I feel like if you want to um riffle shuffle, it'd be pretty good. The hummingbird. Ooh, the hunter. Jaguar. Ooh, I like this one. The journey. Lightning. The lower world. Luminous Warrior. Oh, magic. Okay, so I'm going to pick out a few more. Ooh, the moon. Ooh, the Rainmaker. The Seer. The Smoky Mirror. Stand still. Thunder. Mm. Water. Wow, woman. I like that one. All right, so 
I went through most of them, but I didn't go through all of the cards. So let's just pick a random card and then um, I'm going to read a little bit from the book. So let's just, what's this one? Magic. So we're going to look at magic. So it does have um, the essence, the invitation, and then the medicine. Um, for each card so you do get a um, black and white picture of the card and then this over here so the essence says this symbol represents the infinite intelligence of great spirit that makes up the fundamental fabric of the universe we experience the evidence of this magic through synchronicity or meaningful coincidence the invitation when magic appears you're invited to see the world through the eyes of wonder and awe taking on the innocence of a child who knows that all things are possible. Infinite potential exists in the great mind, and you are being invited to call it in and recognize the dance and synchronistic events, signs, symbols, and omens given to you through the oracle of the ordinary world. This is a sign that spirit is reminding you that you co-create your world in a sacred partnership. Your part is to dream, to intend, and to watch for the signs that show you what next action to take. Right now, it appears that you are on the right track to make your dreams come true. Great Spirit is listening and acting on your behalf. Pay attention. Magic gives birth to miracles. Hmm. And then, the medicine. Have you forgotten that you live in a world that is infused with magic? Perhaps you've become cynical and think you have to create your life all by yourself with no help from others. It's time to remember your relationship to Source, for you are a part of the story of the world, a living spark of spirit living on Earth for the short time as an emissary of light. If you look back over your life, and you will find many instances in which your actions alone were not the cause of out of the blue coincidences that led you to, to that new relationship, job, or other important moment on your journey. So how do you stay in this awareness? The answer is simple. If you can be as a little child and cultivate that wondrous curiosity, you will see the magic again and be amazed. Remember, magic is real and in everything. That was magic. I really like that. Huh. So it does say, so the essence tells you the timeless message of the card. Um, it expands the symbol until you grasp, grasp its message without your needing to analyze it. Always read the essence first. The invitation tells you the gifts that spirit is extending to you at this moment. It is a call to action. Read the invitation only if your card is upright. The medicine tells you the aspect or area of your life or relationships that you need to bring into balance and repair. Read the medicine only if your card is reversed. Remember, there are no bad cards, so reverse cards should not be avoided. In fact, you might want to see this as extra help from the unseen world to guide and protect you. I like that. So, that was Mystical Shaman Oracle Deck and Guidebook. Um, I can't wait to work with this. It does seem like there was... Um, a few like um, cultures in there um, there was a few um, ages of the people represented um, so I think I'm gonna really like this so um, I hope you liked this unboxing I hadn't really seen this deck a lot around um, or really seen anyone do an unboxing even though as soon as I got home and I was looking at my um, I was on YouTube and I was looking at my um, my videos and stuff one an unboxing of this was recommended to me by truth and story and I was like how how coincidental is that that I just bought this and she put up a, <laughs> and I'm like being recommended an unboxing but yeah, there you go. Much love, blessings, and growth, and I will see you next time.